Thank you. <coughs> okay, okay. Um, this is what they saw. First time uh, in uh, scientific history after 250 years of uh, uh, data uh, acknowledging uh, scientifically. They saw for the first time that a man, a human, the human physiology now is capable of influencing deeply into the autonomic nervous system. That related to the immune system means that we are going to look completely different to, uh, toward disease and toward pain. And yes, <coughs> I, I did it. I teach uh, doctors uh, nowadays and therapists and uh, I work with uh, professors and I only have a technical school. I learned to paint. <laughs> but I believed. I believed we can do more than we think we can. And now, yes, we got these breakthroughs. And yes, <coughs> I believe now it's time to change our psychology. In the third year of the university books in, uh, in the USA, all the universities, they have included a chapter calling the Iceman. That's about me. But in the meanwhile, they explain a comparative study. As you saw, these young people just trained in four days' time to be able to influence deeply into the autonomic nervous system. And the bacteria injected, therefore, had no chance. Within a quarter of an hour, compared to thousands of test uh, subjects before, who had no uh, significant influence into the process of this bacteria on the immune system, they became sick, uncontrolled shivering, headaches, and it was not nice to be there three to six hours sick in the bed because you couldn't do anything into uh, your system to block the uh, reaction of this uh, bacteria on your immune system. And now, <coughs> these persons I trained in four days. In four days, they were very capable to endure, say, the cold, uh, to minus 27 on top of a big mountain in shorts, dancing, the Harlem Shake. <laughs> All of them, eh? When we went on the slopes, it was on the Czech-Polish uh, border, we walked up, and it was minus 10 when we began. After one and a half hour, we came to the ridge, which is the border at the same time. Then these uh, Czech uh, soldiers came, these military people, and they looked like ninjas. <coughs> completely covered because it was minus 17. They came over the ridge and then they saw a group of persons <laughs> in shorts coming up. Couldn't understand, but we made nice selfies. <laughs> and we went on <coughs> to the top. And yes, at the top it was minus 27. And uh, we danced the Harlem Shake together. And yes, then I knew, I was convinced, hey, these guys, they are back and have tapped into their deeper potential the way nature meant it to be in every person. But they did it and awakened it in four days of time. And four days later, they were in the hospital. And yes, they were injected and they had 100% score. Everybody had a control over the immune system in the deepest levels, not recognized by science up till then to be possibly influenced, and they did it all. And so I did it also with 26 people, ra uh, ra uh, ranging to 65 years uh, from 22 years, having all kinds of diseases like Crohn, Roma, MS, cancer, asthma, coronary uh, disease, uh, bypasses and all that, doing 65, uh, uh, 65 years old and going to 6,000 meters in three days. In three days. 
and all the physiologists and experts, they told us, it's not possible to do that. We don't want to link our name with your expedition. The people are going to die. Uh, humanly, physi uh, physiologically, this is not possible to be done. And yes, it, maybe they are right. We didn't do it in three days. We did it in two days. <laughs> I don't hear these experts anymore. They thought it to be that way. We got these old ways of thinking patterns, and they are laying it upon us, on our, upon our children. You cannot do this. You cannot do it. You got to do this. You got to do this. Industries who gain a lot of money because, and I don't want to be political, but this is the old way of thinking. Uh, the food industry and the medicine industry, they are really not here to feed us or to heal us. They are here to make money. And that's the old way of thinking, uh, uh, possibly originated from being insecure, having uh, you know, fear, and uh, I have to take care of my thing, this narrowing consciousness. And I think right now, <coughs> and has been proven, that we are able to tap in to the endocrine systems, the immune systems, deeply up till the autonomic nervous system level. And it's in the books everywhere in the world now. And so maybe still has to come here, uh, you know, substantially in the, in the books here in, uh, in the Netherlands. But USA already is doing this. And soon we have uh, new studies with the Harvard. It's all in there. And it shows that we are actually <coughs> very capable of preventing from disease. Very capable of influencing in, into our energy management on cell level. Very capable to get in our DNA. Very capable thus to intervene and direct our happiness, strength, and health. We all got the tools now. And we have shown this with thousands of results. This time, we will change the psychology to become happy, strong, and healthy. It's like love. What do you want for your kid? Do you want it to be healthy, strong, and uh, healthy, strong, and, and a lot of energy, powerful, you know? I think so. I think that's love. And now, chemically, it has been shown that we are able to intervene into the endocrine systems, the hormones, etc. If you want to be happy and you translate it into chemistry, you see uh, oxytocin, uh, me me melatonin, serotonin, dimethyltryptamine, all those uh, hormones, <coughs> when you see power, energy, you see adrenaline, no, epinephrine, and cortisol, and all that. And we have shown in the hospital, lying in bed, doing certain kind of breathing exercises, and using the mind. The mind later, still have nine minutes, I see. Okay, lying in bed, and producing more Adrenaline, controlled stress hormone, than somebody looking into an abyss. An abyss, you know, uh, deep uh, down, like 500 meters, something like that. And having fear and needing to jump, making a big a bungee jump. They compared the blood results and they saw these people lying in bed without a trigger, without a truck coming uh, toward them with 100 kilometers, no danger whatsoever, completely controlled, completely still, to be able to tap into the deepest part of our brain, the brainstem, the reptilian brain, the reaction, uh, reactionary brain, which reacts, it doesn't think, it reacts, and we are able to tap in. Bam. So, coming influencing into the brainstem, as deep as that one, producing adrenaline, control, bum, is a control, is a medicine. We don't need all these medicines. We have our own. 
and then inject it with this bacteria in 50 minutes, all 100% school, everybody had control. And then the immune systems, the immune systems. It was not possibly, uh, possible to intervene in the, in the workings of the immune systems, in the physiology of it, and now they saw it is. It is. And last year, when it was uh, published, I thought, I'm going to get the Nobel Prize or something. <laughs> Why? Because the first time scientifically shown that the autonomic nervous system in relationship to the immune system can be deeply influenced. It's going to change our vision toward disease. And everybody does, doesn't want no disease. We want to be healthy and, and strong and have control over our mood. No depression. Be happy. Be nice. Here, right now. And it came out on television in the best of medical uh, uh, magazines like Nature and, and Panas came out and then, yeah, the song festival, the man with the beard who appeared wi with her dress was more important. And I thought, w what world is this? What are we fighting for? The way I, I, I mindset these guys to go to Poland with me and uh, train in the cold in just a couple of days, I told them, yeah, listen, guys, you know about mindset? No NLP, no this, no believing, uh, just one thing. We are going to win the greatest war ever. That war which caused so much misery, so much pain, so much hopelessness. The war of the bacteria, the virus, and the vaccine. And they were on, they understood, they felt it is time. We are possible, possibly there to be able to change. And they change psychologically. And yes, in four days they were not only dancing the Harlem Shake on top of it, and they drank like, you know, Templars in the night, but during the day. And we had a lot of fun and man, music and all that. So it's not about being in Puritan all the time. There is a big vast space and uh, but <coughs> for freedom you know for your free choice we are not going to be uh, like a dogmatic uh, uh, onto it these guys yes <coughs> in four days of time uh, they were very able to change the history of science by doing it by believing it changing the psychology the belief Standing here, you have an ice cube right now? Maybe yes or no, doesn't matter. I got a tank over here. I'm at the university. I need to go in there. People uh, are drawing blood from my veins uh, to test it later on in a laboratory setting. And yes, they, they, they do it. I'm just standing there. I need to go in the tank for 80 minutes. Ice cubes up till here. And they melt, and they are refilled. And this is the way it's, it's going to be. So I just say to myself, I'm going to be over there. OK, I'm ready. Then they took the blood, and they sent it to, for analysis to the laboratory setting. And they saw in the blood cells, without moving, that the thought signal was responsible for producing 300% more metabolic activity in the cell. Just a thought. What is your belief? Do you believe that you are able to intervene within your psychology to become happy, strong, and healthy? And just four days it took me to bring uh, these 18 people to this point where they were very able to tap in with their mind into their body and resist a bacteria, not only also the pain, minus 27. They did not feel the pain. Therefore, they had an immense connection 
with this internal, natural power within. And it made them happy, strong. And we danced to Harlem Shake up there. So even in the extremes, we are able to go up to those extremes and deal with it. Neutralize the power of the impact. And we are able, two minutes and a half, we are able to go to the moon and make these iPhones, which have now, 50 years, almost 50 years after the Apollo 13, who went to the moon and one step for uh, a man and uh, a huge step for human mankind, etc. And the fruits of our mind went on, and we got iPhones who have more intelligence than the whole project of NASA with uh, Apollo 13 together. It's all in a little iPhone. The technology is beautiful. Actually, we don't need so much technology anymore, but it's time that we not only develop beautiful technology, amazing technology, but become, this time, happy, strong, and healthy. And we got the data to prove <laughs> that it is possible for every person in this world, very accessible, just in a couple of days. If I had a little bit more time, I would do uh, an exercise with you guys, and you would be astounded of your physical and psychic ability. We have to go back to the inner nature, the way nature has meant it to be. We alienated therefrom, and now we got to go back. And that means going back to love, strength, health, and happiness. And that's my story. And we keep on proving this scientifically onto the all over the world. I just got back from uh, Hollywood, 46, uh, 5, 4. <laughs> like the rocket, you know? New rocket. This time, explode into expanded consciousness. Yeah, that's our goal. We don't need to go to Mars. We live on the most beautiful place of all the universe, called the Earth. And uh, in the Bible, it says, hey, we are made by the appearance of God. And any scripture tells compassion and love, that's the message. They've only fight. This time, we are going to show it scientifically that we are able to make happen our own happiness, strength, and health for our children and for the earth. Thank you.